Welcome to the first of our Tech Tip Thursday sessions. Today I have some time-saving Outlook shortcuts to share with you. The first one that I've started using recently comes from this quick steps box in the middle of your screen. Within here there'll be a few options set up already and if you click on these you can configure them to what you need to use. I have this top one, Team Email, set up so that when I click on it it automatically comes up with my team in the address box and some text to start with. You can click on each of these to edit them and from this little arrow in the bottom you can manage these and add more. You can change the order by clicking on individual items and using the arrow keys to move them up and down so they appear in the order that you want. To add a new template click new. There are various options here. I'm going to choose new email too and I'm going to call it project email. So you could use this for a class list or for a project or any other group that you're working on. I click on options and show options within here. So from here you can add the address list that you want to send it to. Okay, so here you can add the names that you want to send the email to. You can choose a subject. And you can start the text. If you then choose save and OK you will see project email has now appeared at the top. So the next time I want to send that email, I just have to click on it and it's already formatted for me. Another thing you might want to do is save certain phrases or template email text that you can use without having to retype each time. You can do this from quick parts. I have one set up already so that when I start typing, assignment, you can see up above assignment deadline appears and hit enter to put in the text. So that has already been saved in my quick parts and it saves me on to type it out each time. To create your own you type some text Then you select the text, go to Insert, Quick Parts, and Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. OK. The next time that you start typing that text, you'll see it appear up above, and you can hit Enter to use it. I've also got a couple of calendar tips which can be helpful to arrange meetings. You might already have some of your colleagues' calendars open beside yours so you can see where they are. To do that you choose open calendar and search for the name of whose calendar you want to see. Click calendar at the bottom and then OK. Obviously this gets a bit cluttered if you're trying to look at more than a couple of people's calendars and it's not the easiest way to arrange a meeting. Instead, if you choose New Appointment, Scheduling Assistant, then you can see every, everybody's calendars at once and arrange a time that's likely to suit it. At the left you can add the attendees to the meeting. You can choose a date for you, when you'd like the meeting to be and the calendars will go to that day. You can see we've got quite a lot of free time here but I'm going to choose 12 o'clock till 1 o'clock for the meeting. So this is especially good when you have a lot of attendees for a meeting. 
There are a few other options you can set and then go back to appointment where you see it's put in the details for you. You can add any other information that you want and then you send the meeting request as usual. And hopefully everyone will be able to attend because you've already checked their calendars. For people who are not on our email system, you can also insert your availability into an email rather than having to write out all the times that you might be free. So you just start an email as normal, then go to insert calendar. You can choose to specify which dates you'd like to have the meeting. So I'll choose next week, Wednesday or Thursday. You can choose whether to show just your availability, so there's no information about where you are, what you're doing, or you can show limited details or full details. You can tick to show my time within working hours only. If you don't have your working hours set up, you can click here. And this takes you into Outlook options where you can see I've set up my work hours as half past eight to half past four and I've ticked the three days that I'm in the office. You click OK and that's inserted a calendar which shows my availability for meetings. And hopefully that would stop a lot of emails going back and forward trying to arrange a time when, when you're free. Okay, so that's a couple of tips for calendar and for emails, which will hopefully save you a little bit of time.